Hello, hello everybody, and this is my inside guppy pond. I haven't made a video about this inside guppy pond in a long time. I've been talking about my outside stuff, and right now <clears throat> I wanted to, this is what it looks like when it gets neglected for a couple months, because I have been so busy with working and it's already a busy time of year working all kinds of overtime but look at the state it's in now we got duckweed we got algae we got mermaid weed growing immersed but the good thing about when I let it grow over like this over here on this side where the lights are super bright. Let's see if I can zoom in and see any. There are tons and tons of little fry, especially over here. Let's see if we can see some. They're probably all hiding. There's a bunch of them back here. Look at all of them. I got so many guppies in here. It's like guppy soup. So you can see we've got a... When I let the plants grow up to the surface of the water, then I start getting duckweed problems. And then we even have algae issue right there in that mess so I think what happens is this this pump on this filter pumps over pumps a thousand gallons an hour and it keeps the surface stirred up good enough that it keeps the duckweed in check but then when you start letting the plants grow all the way up to the surface and then you start having problems because then they get trapped when they get trapped they don't the surface doesn't move and the surface is only coming out right there on the filters so that's the issue we're having here and that's why the duckweed is taking hold because I've been lazy so I'll have a really big cheap plant pack so I can when I trim this out I'll be doing that here soon I'll post a video about it but look for that to be coming soon for trimming the pond the guppy pond plants that I'll be needing to get rid of because I really don't want to throw it away I'd rather sell them for someone real cheap so they can go on find a living life somewhere else I don't want to throw all these nice plants away Look at all these guppies. Holy smokes. Let's see what happens when I stick my hand in there. Look at all of them. Pretty cool. Look, this is like a Japan blue mosaic tail, something or other. <laughs> You're going to jump on the floor, guys. Look at how many. And this is just the one section. The whole thing is full of guppies. Like, you're seeing all these guppies. Of course, they do gather here because this is where I dump the food in. But, back there, there's loads of them. All the fry. And here, and then, I was just before I made the video, there are dozens of pluckos down in the deep down there so oh there's one i was gonna say i saw a baby albino pleco and there's one right there so the plecos in here are spawning that's pretty awesome got new baby plecos oh there's a baby brown one oh i don't know if i got it on video let's see i can find it on the screen yeah right 
So the pluckos are spawning. That's cool. Everything's looking good other than the state of the plants. As you can see, everything's looking good. Let's do a random scoop and see what these guppies look like up close. Because I haven't done that in a while. So I figured I'd do that. Make a video about it. See what kind of weird, crazy, mixed guppy things we got going on in here. It's usually pretty cool. Let's see what we've got. Okay, I thought I'd do this part on camera. I don't think we're even going to need a net. I've got this thing right here. And we're just going to go. And look at that. Holy smokes. Alright, we'll come over here where I can set it on the tank. And get a better look. Alright, as you can see. Lots of, look at, oh man. Look at some of these fish. Pretty freaking crazy. Wow. Lots. What in the world is that thing? Look at that. Lots of Japan blues and Inler genetics in here, that's for sure. Rainbow Tiger Inlers. Japan blues. There's lots of mosaics in here and some koi. Look at that guy. All kinds of crazy stuff. Alright. Let's go get another scoop. Alright. Oh my goodness. Look at this one. Look at that. It's like a mosaic Japan blue. Holy cow. Look at all that. There's another red one. Look at this one. Double sword tail. Wow, red. Lots of really cool fish in here. Oh my gosh. That looks so cool. Oh, that one is amazing. There's a lot of really cool ones. So, all the fish... Looks super healthy and happy. I'd say that's for sure. Okay. You got an idea of what we got going on here. I'll be having these available for sale here in the next week or two. Life is getting back to normal. And I'm going to start putting some fish on the website. So that'll be cool. And we'll have... Some options on buying my pond guppies. I have some plecos on there. So it'll be fun. Alright, let's let these guys back in their home. Wow. Got them all out. So as you can see, everything's looking good in here. Just need to tidy up the plants. Redo that. I've let these go way too long. The impatience are getting crazy. Look at how they're growing up out of the bucket over here. They always do that. They always branch out. And when I clean the sponge filters, I always have to cut off that great big chunk. Because they're growing right underneath that super bright LED shop light. But there you have it. An update. It's been a while on my inside guppy pond. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.